Good morning. I am tired today. I slept eight and a half hours, still exhausted. Plus, during my morning meditation, I like couldn't stop yawning. So I've been noticing that I wake up with like the puffiest face. And I talked about it in a video. I was like, does anybody else wake up with like the puffiest face? Like what's going on? And everybody was like, well, do you eat a lot of salt before bed? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Like who doesn't? All the good food has a lot of salt. So maybe it's that. Ooh, okay, this feels kind of great. Yeah, people told me to do this. This is waking my ass up. Hello, good morning. This is nice. Oh. Okay, that was nice. Anyways, hello, good morning. I'm making my matcha. I don't know why I make matcha in the morning, to be honest. I thought it would be a good way to like get a bunch of caffeine without having to drink coffee, but matcha like does not even wake me up. It doesn't even wake me up. And I drank this bougie matcha that I didn't even realize was like $60 for the thing. It was just sent to my house one day. I don't know who sent it. I don't know if it was this brand, if it was PR. Matcha, it really doesn't do it for me. It really doesn't do it for me, but I drink it every day. I try to prolong, like I try to delay having the, <coughs> yes ma'am. I tried to delay having my first coffee because I feel like if you have the first coffee, then you crash an hour and a half later, and then you have the other cup of coffee. So in an effort to have one cup a day, I've been doing matcha. Cheers, drink your water. Good morning, lots of stuff happening today. So excited to bring you along. Period. Henny decided to do charity work today and clean up my car. I don't know how like so much trash got in there. Have you seen your car, by the way? It looks great, what do you mean? What? No, yours is dirty. No, it's not. I'm just trying to throw shots. Yeah, hungry. Mine is disgusting, I know. Like, there was leftover fish from two weeks ago in the car. Yeah. And I'll tell Lauren, she's like, oh, that's what that smell is? I'm like, the rotting fish <laughs> smell? Yeah, that's what that smell is. Uh, Lou is getting groomed today, finally. She is dirty. She's like half Australian Shepherd, and I think that's where she gets her beard from. But sometimes homegirl will have a full-blown, like, Beard. So Lou's getting home today, baby. She's a, she's a dirty girl. Isn't that right, girl? Okay, to be honest, I was planning on doing this right now, but I have to go. I'll bring you with. At the end of the video, I'll walk you through a couple of my products on my new skincare shelf. Can we talk about how beautiful she looks? Like, it's just so satisfying. So to start the day, and I am gonna put on a real outfit because I really try to keep it interesting for you, but sometimes I just don't have the energy like that. For my SPF, I've been obsessed with this one from First Aid Beauty. When I posted this on my store, so many people DM'd me and were like, was it grainy for you? Was it grainy for you? I realized that it does have like a tiny little bit of grain, but since I apply it with a makeup brush, like I never noticed it before. And then when I applied it with my finger, I did notice it. That personally doesn't bother me. The First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen. I'm obsessed with it. It has like the tiniest amount of tint, which I appreciate. And I think today, I've never done this, but let me give it a go. Today, since I'm vlogging and I want a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna mix in the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. This one is a bit more foundation-y. Oh my god, this is a bust. Why is the skin tint not blending? Hello? I don't know if this is not my shade, but this did not apply evenly today. And I feel very orange, very Oompa Loompa, but for daytime use, I've been using this most days. It's the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream, and I like it because I have such intense dark circles. Brightens it just enough. It has like the sheen to it that bounces the light off of it so nicely and just makes me look a little bit more awake. I was taking vitamin K for my dark circles for a little bit. I got facial and the facialist recommended me it. But I feel like my dark circles are actually caused by allergies. So I don't know what to do to like keep that in check. This little brightening cream helps. And sometimes you just gotta throw it back with some OG chapstick. I don't even know if this is like good. <gasps> Not me getting scared of the man in the viewfinder, but it's the landscaper. So are you scared the shit out of me? I'm also fully aware that this nail shape is very bad. They look like chiclets, they are wider than the nail bed, and they look so terrible. It's not a good manicure. I had literally 45 minutes to get my nails done, and I had three of my acrylics fall off, so I just sat the fuck down, and I just said, go. Pick the color, sat there, did not give much direction. So this is on me. This is not even the nail tech's fault. I just sat there and was like, I need to go. This would be better than having a couple nails missing, which is never cute. I completely forgot to show you this. I added a third level to my closet because I ran out of closet space in here probably like two months after I moved in and I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Penny actually came up with a genius idea of just adding another level and then getting like some sort of cute step stool. These to like go up there and grab things. I think I'm gonna like actually try with my outfits. I bought this set on IMGia and I'm just obsessed with it because it's very lazy girl, but it's so 
Thank you. I am a little salty that IMG doesn't send me stuff though. I like beg them. I like because they're the one brand that doesn't send me stuff. They're like hard to get and it makes me want them more and I'm like, Fuck, you're so unattainable. But like, ow. So it comes with this cute little top. Ooh. So like when you put it on, it looks like you tried. It's really just some sweatpants and a shirt. Be right back. And this is the fit. Isn't it cute? So I guess I'm really living my Real Housewives fantasy of wearing extra ass outfits like this to go to the groomer. But I'm kind of living for that reality for me. Maybe I'll even add a bitchy pair of sunglasses to just complete the vibe. We're ready to go. Camila, do you have anything you want to say? Okie dokie. I really don't think the macho life is for me. Does tea make anybody else feel like they're gonna throw up or is that just a me thing? Cause like every time I drink tea, I either throw up or feel like I'm going to and I don't know why, um, but your girl needs some Starbies. We didn't intend on having a fun day today, but I feel like what ended up happening is we put on cute outfits and we're like, let's do something. Am I reading too much into this? I guess it's kind of like a free day. We're having fun. Free day. Literally. Free day vlog day. Hey, hey. I realize that you guys really enjoy exploring Scottsdale with us. So right now we're going to the quarter, which is so cute, honestly. Like if you've ever been to the Grove in LA, it's a similar vibe to that, but way bigger, way more things, way more stores, way chiller. Like at night they have all these string lights and all these cool restaurants, super trendy spots. Like that's where I go get my skin lasered and I do my laser facials. They have CB2, Pottery Barn, West Elm. I love Scottsdale, I'm so obsessed with it here. And no tourists, so period. Okay, field trip guys. We just discovered this whole other part that we didn't realize was right here. Cowboy boots, there's a cowboy boot store. I've been wanting a pair. It's so funny that we had no idea this was here the whole time. I'm fading, I need food. I need food so bad. We're having the most spontaneous day. We just pulled up to this French spot and it looks really good. It feels like we're in Paris. I would show the Eiffel Tower, but there's people there, but it feels like we are in Paris and the people next to us are getting their food and it looks so dainty and amazing and I'm excited. It's like $20 for an omelet like this big, so you know it's like Flavor top, pack. Yeah, top, top of the line. <laughs> Hi everyone, let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. My guilty pleasure is Wendy Williams and she gets me through my 12, 3, 30. I like to watch Hot Topics. I also like to watch the Ask Wendy compilations. There's about 53 of them and they each are about 14 minutes long and they are the funniest thing that you could possibly watch. I'm gonna get into this twirl, well, yes. I'm gonna get into this 12, 3, 30. I need it, I need it. Honestly, I'm on my period. I cried for 20 minutes, took a nap for 20 minutes. And now I think I'm ready to hop on the treadmill. It'd be like that. I didn't get my period for like two months, which was very alarming, but it was because of my birth control. Then I got my period and it was almost like two months not getting one, just compiled into this month. And I got three months worth at the same time. So I have been dying, but somehow I've been pushing myself to do 12, 3, 30, even during this time. And I'm very proud of myself because it is no easy feat, honey. But what I will say is after, it does make me feel so much better about myself and my mental health than when I'm done because I'm like, at least I did something good. Let's get into it. So, I feel like I've been telling you about my journey to make the booty grow naturally, baby. So with that includes just a lot of weights. Now, I fell in love with doing hip thrusts. I did them in the cage and I realized that I could pick up a lot of weight with them and they were great, but what I found was I needed Penny to be there to physically grab the bar and put it on my hips and it wasn't sustainable because if he wasn't here, I wasn't able to do it. So I got this machine and this basically a hip thrust machine, but you don't need anybody to like drop the bar on you. They have a lot of similar machines to this in gyms. Like I've seen a bunch of different variants of this in different gyms, but obviously right now gyms are closed. They're not the safest. So I added this to my arsenal. There's 30 pounds on it right now. That's usually what I start to warm up. But I've been doing this every day and low key guys, my booty has been popping. So I mean, if you ever go to a gym that has something like this, my tip is to start low, work your way up to heavier weight and really engage that core and those glutes the whole time. 
Oh, and I even put these like bands on it. It adds more resistance. Just mark my words, by the time summer rolls around, my booty is gonna be popping. I've been doing this and weighted squats. I recently took a picture of my body from the back to see what I'm working with, and I was like, damn, like the results are coming in, so. I'm just gonna keep it up. I've also been doing a bunch of just regular weighted squats. I like to do 30 pounds. It's challenging enough, but not too intense for me. And I'll do like 15 to 20, and then I'll alternate between the three of those things. Okay, playtime's over, baby. Now I'm gonna put 25 pounds on each side. Honest, I'm proud of myself. Normally I would do more, but for being on my period, I'm surprised I even got out of bed this morning. So this is a win. I'm starving. Let's go eat. Okay, baby, it is lunch time. Who are you calling, baby? Not, not them. The star is here. <laughs> oh, by the way, Honey started doing kickboxing, and somebody punched him yesterday, and I want to beat their ass. But, okay, okay. I am okay. personally upset at this strange man that punched my man. Relax, first of all. He has a battle even... scar. No, I don't. Yes, you do. It doesn't even... <laughs> you see it? It doesn't even show. Anyways, today for lunch, we are going to be cooking HelloFresh, baby. And we're actually trying one of their new ones that we've never tried before because this one is their low calorie option. Oh, we've never done this. Which is why I'm really excited about it. So today, we are gonna be making soy glazed meatballs. Is there any way I can help? You can make the food, <laughs> what you mean? Let's go, Miss HelloFresh. Okay, we'll just follow the directions since you have so much to say. 425 degrees, done. It's already Trim done, that was thinly me. slice the scallions. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> Wait, that's not even the right knife. I want to do this part. I want to do this part no, so bad. I, I, actually like I really, I, well, I have the chair in my hands, so what you want to do? Yeah, I got a big boy. Yeah. So we're compensating for something. <laughs> Guys, I love HelloFresh. It honestly makes cooking so much fun. We do so many fun recipes. They save us a lot of time. We don't even waste food because you're using exactly what you need. And last year, they donated 4 million meals, and they're committed to doing it again this year. It's super easy to cook. We're always switching it up in the kitchen and it gets us way out of our comfort zone and introduces us to recipes that we probably would have never tried and it tastes so good. And you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code Geraldo12 to get 12 free meals, including shipping. Enjoy. I'm about to shave my whole body girl because I'm gonna get a spray tan. I used to not do spray tans. As you know, I avoid the sun entirely because I learned a lot about the damage it could do to your skin long term. So especially in the winter months, I like to get spray so that I can feel like I have my little healthy glow going on. The reason that I now do spray tans and not the little like at home tan thing is because in LA, I remember my friend Sam was like, girl, you should get a spray tan. I looked into it, it was like $125 at any place and here it's 25 bucks. So I'm like, I could swing 25. If it's 125, like I, I would just rather do it myself. I've also had six of these today, so. Okay, just got out of the shower. Lua got groomed and Henny FaceTimed me but he had like barely any service so I could kind of see her, but she looks perfect. God, she looks so cute. Hello. Hello, little no mustache. Where's your beard? She looks so good. She looks so cute. She smells so good. She got a fresh blowout. I told you that I would walk you through a little bit of what's on my skincare shelf and highlight some of my favorite products. So basically, this is just an overview. There are some things I haven't tried, like the Ola Henriksen scrub, for example. For the most part, anything that's on this shelf is a go-to of mine. So let me just highlight some of the ones that I've been really into recently. I can link everything down below for you too. Okay, so Biosans. I saw a lot about this brand on TikTok. It's a squalene and lactic acid resurfacing night serum. This is one of the very few serums that I use it one night and I literally see a visible difference the next day. I've also been loving the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Night Concentrate. The consistency is different than what I'm used to. It's very like bouncy and light and I feel like it really, really hydrates me. This Skin Medica TNS Advance Plus Serum, this is definitely a bougier product and it's definitely at a higher price point, but the ingredients are so amazing and this one, I, again, really, really feel it working. If you want a cheaper serum, that's also gonna make you feel really 
like a difference, then I recommend the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. I'm a huge fan of niacinamide and I do have dark spots and I feel like this really helps me. I also love the consistency of it. It's just like a very nice consistency and it feels really good on the skin. Another brand that I saw a lot about on TikTok is La Roche Posay. Roche Posay, I hope I'm saying that right. But this moisturizer is so intense and so hydrating and because I get my spray tans, even though they use an organic formula, it's still alcohol based. So my skin gets super, super dry, not to mention I live in a desert climate. So my face, my skin always gets like cracky dry and this this really, really works. Another one that really works for all the body is Hemp's. I just get it on Amazon. Any of the Hemp's one are awesome and they smell really good. They're really affordable and I'm a big fan. I just got the lavender one actually and I haven't tried it, but I feel like that would be so perfect for nighttime. Okay, I don't, uh, this was sent to me before it came out. So I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about this one yet, but this is insanely good. I've been using it religiously like literally every night. This is what the consistency is like. It's just so rich and it's a collagen moisturizer and I just really love how this sinks into the skin and it feels so lightweight. And in the morning I just feel glowy and plump and really just like supple. Supple baby. Now this is a new skincare brand that I've heard a lot about and I see a lot about it on Instagram called Ren and all of their skincare is clean. So I have not tried these yet, but what I have tried from them, their brightening dark spot eye cream. I've used it a couple times. I appreciate the consistency. I like it. I feel like I need to use it for a longer period of time to really tell like if it does anything for my under eyes. I'm such a sucker for the Cosmetics Opti Crystal Eye Serum, like that one for dark circles. I feel like I just see such a noticeable, noticeable difference. So I'm gonna keep playing around with her and I'm gonna keep my eyes open on this brand because I've heard a lot of things about it so far, at least on social media. Now for the daytime, First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream. I love this for the daytime. It literally brightens my under eyes so much and it's perfect for the days where I don't wanna wear concealer but I still want that brightness. Where's like all the Dermalogica products I use? Oh, Henny stole them and they're all on his side. Well, I still am using my OGs from Dermalogica and the Tatcha Luminous Deep Hydration Serum. I like it, but I prefer it for underneath makeup. So I don't really reach for it that much before bed, but this would be awesome for like an, a makeup look. Oh, also another thing I'm a huge fan of, this Milk Makeup Vegan Cleanser is so good, like I'm obsessed with it. The way that it feels when you're using it on your skin, it feels like it really cleans you and it's so gentle and it's just a cleanser that feels amazing. Like the user experience is there. I love it, it's amazing. I'm out of breath. That's enough skincare talk. Um, I'm sure nobody's surprised, but I forgot to film an outro. Wait, I'm doing fake freckles right now and they look very fake. Um, Bye, love you, thanks for hanging out, bye.